So I'm going to copy S6, right click and copy. Put that on the bottom in O6, right click and paste. One, two, three. The amount's going to be what is in the subsidiary ledger for uh, MU, which is 8,850. So we'll put a credit of 8,850. By the way, you might be trying to say, well, why don't we use a formula here? And if you do, just be careful which cell you pick up. Uh, for example, if I was to say I want to put negative to make it a credit of this cell, then I'm going to have a problem uh, when I post something to AU because it's going to change this cell. If, however, I picked up this cell, then uh, it could be something that, be, that would work. So just uh, you want to use formulas as much as possible, but be careful uh, if like the formula that you're using is going to change <laughs> uh, if you picked up one of these numbers here. So that's why on this one I, I hard code it there even though the general rule use formulas as much as possible then i'm going to put a negative of this number or just an 8850 using a formula flipping the cell to 8850. that's going to go into the notes receivable for mu so that's going to be here just moving it from one receivable to the other from an accounts receivable to a notes receivable from a non-interest bearing receivable to an interest bearing receivable right clicking on s10 and copy Gonna put that in 05, right click and paste. Values only, one, two, three. Then we're gonna indent the second cell in 06, go into the home tab, alignment, increase the indentation. Now let's post this out. Notes receivable here for MU is gonna be here on the trial balance. We're gonna be in the middle column in U10. We'll say equals and point to that 8,850, bringing the balance from zero up by 8,852. 8,850. Accounts receivable is going to be here. It's going to be there on the trial balance. There is something in it in U6. Therefore, we will double click on it. Go to the end of it. Plus, point to that 8,850 and enter. So there is that. Now we took it out of accounts receivable and we need to also do that on the subsidiary ledger. The subsidiary ledger breaking out this information by customer. So we're going to be here in AC14 posting this same amount to the subsidiary ledger, not the general ledger, subsidiary ledger, breaking it out by customer. This equals in AC14, that 8,850 bringing the balance down to zero. If we were to sum up all the customer balance in the subsidiary ledger like this, it would add up to 26,272, which should and does match the trial balance. Next transaction, we're gonna scroll back over. Actually, we're gonna actually do the uh, interest calculation now. Now remember, the interest calculation is not going to be something that we take into effect until the note becomes due, but we're going to calculate it now. And this is often, again, one of the confusing pieces of these types of problem because you're going to say, hmm, there's interest and there's number of days uh, that they gave us and we're not going to do anything with it. And, uh, and, the, and the answer is no, we're not going to do anything with it um, until uh, the, the interest comes due because we haven't we haven't earned it until time passes. So we're going to say that it was 8,850. This time we have 10% for whatever reason. We're charging MU 10%. Hope he doesn't contact these other people. We gave a 7% rate. Anyway, the interest rate went up for whatever reason. So we're going to go over to the home tab, uh, font and underline. And then we're going to multiply this out and remember that's 10 percent per year and we have to break it out we're going to have to figure it out 10 percent for however long uh, we had it for which was 90 days so we will say this equals the 8850 times the 10 percent and enter 885 dollars in interest per year we need to break that out to what it would be for 90 days we're going to break that to a daily total first by saying equals 12 months times 30 days, or 360, a rounding, an estimate, exact would be closer to 365. Then we'll divide that out. So we are in E22. We're gonna say this equals